Hi everybody, it's Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy and I'm back again today because I, I want to talk more about this topic. So I talked about this in my energy and tarot reading on Tuesday. I talked about this in my video yesterday. This idea of this being such an important time for us to begin to make that connection to our higher power, you know, to make that connection, to build upon that connection, and to continue to develop it. Hi, Joy, thanks for watching. Um, so make sure you guys say hi if you're watching. Um, and so, I don't know, this is just really important shit, you guys. <laughs> so I want, I, I just feel like I need to dive in more. I feel like I, I barely touched on that yesterday. And um, I wanted to talk about one of my absolute favorite parts of having a spiritual connection and that is when we start to see the magic that happens and I talked about that a little bit that when you start to put your trust in your higher power when you start to maybe not, you don't even have to trust it you just have to start to open to the idea that there is a force that's bigger than you you just start to have to open to the idea that you're willing to be open to maybe consider making a connection. So it doesn't have to be this giant commitment to your higher power, but when you start to open to it and you start to explore this idea of, you know, maybe there is something bigger than me and I would like to connect with that. Hi, Common, thanks for watching. Um, that this is where the really, really magical stuff can come in. And this is one of my favorite parts of what I do when I'm meeting people for the first time in a soul therapy session. A lot of times they are feeling kind of disconnected from their spirituality or, um, you know, haven't connected in a very long time. And, and so it's one of my favorite things is when they come back after their first session or their second session and they're talking about the magic that's showing up for them because when you start to open, again, this is where the magic comes in. So let me give you some examples of this so you know what the heck I'm talking about. So if you start first, the very first thing that you want to do is set your intention. You want to set your intention that you're open, you know, to connecting on a deeper level with your higher power. So even if you're somebody who's really connected, you can always deepen that connection. So you can set that intention and put that out there and watch that be delivered to you in so many different ways. But how I find that this gets delivered is by these amazing signs and synchronicities that just show up for you in your life. And it's hard to give examples because there's so many different ways. And your job is to watch. So you set your intention and then you watch for this to show up. And it might show up in the form of an answered prayer, right? Um, but I think it's really important. A lot of people will say, I prayed for this. I don't feel like I got it. And then they'll recognize later that God absolutely answered their prayer, but he didn't answer it in the way that they had intended for it. But later on, they recognized that he answered it in the way that's for their highest and best good. So God has this really magical way of doing that, of answering our prayers in a way that's best for us and best for our highest and best good. So even if we think that we want something in the moment and we don't get that, that can be an answered prayer, really. So allow God, your higher power to be in charge of that. Allow God to take over that, surrender that so that God can do his magic, right? Um, so it might come in the form of an answered prayer. It might come in the form of just a sign that crosses your path. A lot of people, when they're leveling up with their energy, when they are connecting on a deeper level with their spirituality, will see 1111. These are what I call angel numbers. Um, these are numbers that the angels use, repeating numbers, to show us that they are present, that they are working with us. And 1111 specifically means that you're stepping into your awakening, you're leveling up, you're stepping into a new phase of your energy that kind of stuff. So if you're seeing a lot of 1111, know that that's part of what's happening for you. But it can be any angel numbers. It can be any repeating numbers. So numbers are one of the ways that we get signs and synchronicities. It can be animals that cross our path. Uh, sometimes we connect certain meanings and attribute certain meanings to animals. Um, and then you can also look that up. So if you're not sure, like if you have something 
an animal cross your path that seems out of the ordinary or um, you know whenever a lot of times when I have an animal that is a sign for me it will come very close to me or um, stand out in some way or it will show up over and over and over again and so if you have an animal that continues to cross your path then um, you can look that up you can ask yourself first what that means to you but then you can also look that up and see you know you can just look that online or whatever but see what the definition of that is online you know what does that mean so for example last year I was getting well not last year I think it was in the fall I was getting a ton of snails to the point that I actually stepped on some and crushed them and that was kind of awful but um, it was a great way for the universe to get my attention right when it crunched underneath my feet and um, so uh, you can take that and you can look that up snail as a spirit animal or snail as a sign and just kind of see what resonates with you what connects for you with that um, all kinds of signs so it could be a billboard it could be a license plate it could be a sign somewhere it could be a meme that's on Facebook it could be um, something that somebody says to you that you're just like whoa that's exactly what I needed to hear <laughs> Joy's making the puke face. Yeah, it was pretty gross. It was the grossest sound. I'll actually never forget it. Um, I asked my guides to never deliver a, a, a sign to me in that way because I did not enjoy that. But if you can continue to recognize these signs and um, ask for more and more signs, the universe will show you the way. And sometimes you're gonna get quiet periods. I find actually when I'm trying to force it a little bit, when I'm saying, you know, God, can you just show me the way? And I'm trying to be a little bit too controlling or um, it's not time for me to have an understanding of that yet, I won't get any signs or I won't notice any signs. And so you have to also be patient with that and continue to keep an eye out, continue to watch feel it out, see what shows up for you. Chances are, if it feels like a sign, it probably is a sign. And then there's other synchronicities, right? So it might be that you run into somebody and they have an important opportunity. You know, like the, you're just, it's orchestrated in your favor that you run into this person and they need you to do this and you need them to do this and you get this amazing opportunity through it. So that's one of the ways that things are being synchronized or you know, a lot of times synchronicities come through people, I find, but not always, you know. It can be all kinds of different things. It can be you just showing up at the right place and the right time and something happening that was really, really important for you. And this is going on, guys, basically all day, all the time. And when you can start to look at that and you can start to recognize it, after a while, you're going to take a step back and have, I always say it's like those holy shit moments where you're like, wow, like, holy shit, the universe actually has my back. There truly are forces that are beyond me, that are helping me, that want to support me, that want to show me that they're helping me, and this is a really, truly magical thing. So I hope that you guys start to set your intentions to connect on a deeper level. I hope that you start to open to the possibility of signs. If you ask for them, be patient, but watch for them. Your job is to watch for them. I think that we miss signs all the time because they're happening all the time. So watch for them and continue to pay attention for them. And the more you recognize them, the more you'll get them. So I hope that you start that journey. I would love to hear from you guys how that goes for you. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity by Christy, you can check me out at discoveryourawakening.com. If you think that there's somebody that could use this video as a sign or a synchronicity, make sure you share it. Make sure you tag them below um, or just share it because you like my message and you want to make sure that the right people get my video. So thank you so much for watching today and I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care.